Well, Oregon lawmakers already approved hundreds of millions of dollars in new taxes, but now voters may get the final say because thousands of signatures were delivered to Salem today to repeal what lawmakers did. Our local six reporter Lana Quila was there as the boxes arrived. Boxes full of petitions sit on the steps of the Secretary of State's office at the Capitol. Inside them, a group called Oregonians Against Job Killing Taxes says it has more than 130,000 signatures. They only need half of them to be valid to let Oregon voters decide whether to repeal $700 million in new taxes. Luke Morley says Lakeside Lumber in Tualatin has been in his family for 72 years. But this is the first year they not only had a loss, but had to lay off 10 employees. He says an increase in corporate taxes comes at a rough time. You know, I think there's a misnomer about the way businesses work. You know, we don't have a cash full of money that we all put in our pocket. It stays in our checking account just like any person. And we've got to pay down debt. And, and fa in fact, in our case, we're drawing a line of credit before our sales pick up. In June, the state legislature overwhelmingly approved the corporate tax hike, an increase to income tax for individuals who make more than $125,000 a year. The money is already allocated to social services. If the measures are repealed in January, then the legislature will be forced to make a billion dollars in cuts to our public schools, to our human services programs that benefit needy Oregonians, and to our public safety system. Monday, the Secretary of State's office will begin a review of the petitions and verify a 5% sample to make sure the signatures are legitimate. If the Secretary of State's office validates the signatures, you could see this on a January 26th special election ballot. Reporting in Salem, Alana Quila, Coin Local 6. That brings us to tonight's Coin Local 6 live web poll. If the election were held today, would you vote to repeal the $700 million in new taxes on Oregon businesses, corporations, and the wealthy, even if it means cuts to education and state services? We'll have those first results coming in in the next half hour.